welcome or welcome back to my channel solved with ross and today i am going to be sharing with you how to create your own classroom app in this app, you will be able to share with your students all of the important information they need to know to be successful in your class. That's the schedule. That is your school's website. That can be the agenda for the week. Anything that you want them to know can all be housed in one little app. If you're interested in learning how to do so for your upcoming school year, just keep on watching. Here is the app that I created for my students. So I currently teach sixth grade math and I am Miss Ross and I put a fun little uh, bitmoji on the side here just to um, liven it up a little bit. But I have nine tabs here and this is basically everything they need to know about my class. I have a schedule, I have classroom expectations, a Canvas um, link, homework. This is our school's mascot. So if our students need to um, get any information off the actual school's website, it's located here for them. The syllabus, this is a help button. So this is basically for tutoring or any type of additional resources. Meet the teacher. It's things about myself and then um, how to just contact me. So if there's something, this is different from help. So help us for homework, but contact me if there is some sort of emergency or something that you need to communicate with me um, in the moment. Okay. And then uh, the, the directions on how to bookmark this app is also available here, okay? So I'll run just through some of these. Um, for example, the schedule, right? Notice how when I click on schedule, it goes exactly to the schedule page, right? Um, I put whatever week that we're working with and then I have Monday through Friday here. So this is just basically giving them a heads up on the agenda for the day so on monday we may be learning about fractions tuesday we may have a certain activity so forth and so on okay um this is so helpful for students who may not have come to school that day um they don't feel like they're behind because they already know what's coming up in a week okay this is also great if scaffolds need to be um given to students so they know ahead of time what's going on or their parents know ahead of time so that they can plan for those things okay and then to go back to the home page, I click the little home at the bottom and it goes back to where we started. Okay. All of these pages do the exact same thing. Okay. Um, for the help page. Okay. Same thing. I have tutoring information when that's available and then how to have additional uh, resources. And then once again, I have my home page. It goes right back to where we started. Okay, if I want students or parents to bookmark this app on their computers or on their phones, they click that at the bottom and I give them the instructions. Okay, so if I have um, people with iPhones or iPads, they basically add it to their home screen. Um, so they would open this page up given the link that I give them. They'll um, go to the bottom and there is like an arrow pointing up, basically like, a send or a download button and then you'll scroll down to add to home screen hit add and then it's on the home screen um, you will see how this is done at the end of this video but for Android users um, same thing um, that is how you would add to the home screen they have their own set of directions going back to the home and so if you want something similar um, to using your classroom for this upcoming school year then um, keep watching the first thing that you would want to do is go to google slides and open up a new slideshow a new presentation okay it needs to be completely blank and i'm going to go ahead and label this one our classroom app tutorial Now, before we get into all of the fun things, the first thing we have to do is make sure that our formatting is correct, right? Because this is for a presentation, but we're trying to make it into an app. So we have to change our dimensions. We're going to go to File, Page Setup, change this widescreen to Custom, and our custom dimensions are now going to be 9 by 14. And now we have changed the shape of 
our pages, okay? And every page after this will have the same shape. This is so when it's presented on a smartphone, the formatting will be correct, okay? Um, now, if they wanna access this from a desktop or a laptop, the fam format will still be the same. Um, but the point of this is that your students will be able to take this on the go with them on their phones, okay? So after you've done this, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and choose the background. Okay. If you have an image that you already saved on your computer, you're more than welcome to add that. But I'm going to choose one just from the Google search. Okay. So you see here you have several options. You can pick the one that best resonates your style, your classroom culture, whatever you would like. I'm actually going to choose this one here insert okay now i am going to go ahead and um add additional pages just ahead of time um just so it'll make for a seamless process later but after you've done this now this is a time where you go in and um, create your home page. This is what your students are going to see as soon as they click on the app. So this can be your classroom name, the grade, the content, your name, a bitmoji, um, whatever you want um, to bring this app to life. And of course, I'm just going to do the bare minimum here so that you can kind of get the idea of the process. Okay. Now, because this is the home page, this is also where all of your um, sub pages will be stored. So this is completely contingent upon what you want to share out to your students. So what type of information do you want to give them? So for my personal app, I had nine um, separate tabs, but you do what works for you. In this tutorial, I'm only going to show you three um, just so you can get an idea, okay? So the first thing I do is kind of give each um, tab its own background. So I go here, go to shapes, and then I pick the curved um, square. And since I'm only doing three, I'm actually going to make these um, a tad bit bigger than usual. Okay. Again, if you wanted more, you would, you know, add more on. But then this is also where uh, you give an image to each tab. Okay. This is what I mean. So, for example, um, I have a tab for um, homework. Okay. So, I would need an image that represents homework. Now, you can just add in a text and say, you know, write the word homework, but we're going to make it fun and exciting for our students. So I'm going to go to Google, of course, and type in homework, oh, PNG. PNG is just um, making sure that it has a transparent background, and we're going to look at all of the images that come up. Okay. Now, even though we put transparent in our search, sometimes we have to go in and make sure that you get a transparent background. This is because if you don't, all of this extra white space or whatever extra colors that's um, in the background will be put on the app. And a lot of times you don't want that. So we're going to go to tools, color, and make sure that it's transparent. Okay, so as you probably could tell, there were some images that disappeared because they weren't truly transparent, okay? So you can pick any of these images here. It's only clip art, so it's completely fine. Um, I'm just gonna choose the first one. You know for sure that it's transparent when you have these little squares in the background, okay? You see these gray and white squares? That's how you know for sure this is transparent, okay? I'm gonna click on another one just so you can see the difference. Okay, so you see how um, 
this does not have the squares in the background this means that this is not transparent in some kind of way the algorithm got off because this should not have been in the search so that's why you always have to double check okay see this one it does have it so that's how you know it's transparent and you can use it okay so we want to save this image i just save most things to my desktop so it's easy access but you see that it ends up here at the bottom going to go back to my tutorial page and attach it on the app okay now of course I'm going to shape it and make sure that it fits um, now the squares in the background are completely optional I just kind of like to give it a nice palette um, so that all of my tabs look uniform but you don't have to you could have just done the homework image by itself or the actual word homework and it still would have been fine okay um, the next image that I'm going to add to the app um, for me, I want to do a classroom expectation tab. So this is basically where I'm going to house um, my rules that never change, right? Um, so there is never an excuse of what I expect um, because you can always go back and look at the app and refresh yourself, okay? <laughs> so um, this one looks pretty cute. So let's see. Oh, it doesn't have the transparent background. So let's go ahead and make sure that we filter our results. Let's try this again. Oh, that one's nice. So we're gonna choose this one. And of course there are many more to choose from, whatever fits you. Save, save to desktop, and then attach it to our board once again now i want to emphasize that if i didn't have a transparent background that whatever background the image came with it would be on my app and so that's why it's so crucial to make sure that you have transparent backgrounds okay i'm going to shrink it just a little bit so it fits and there we go classroom rules okay and then last but not least i'm going to show um a contact me page so i'll go back to my google search and contact me making sure that we have transparent backgrounds always um you can choose any of these let's see probably going to choose be this one yep that'll work save okay um and then attach again now these are just of course images that i got off of google if you want your images to look a little bit more uniform or you have something in mind you are more than welcome to replace them right but um for those of us who kind of want the easiest route possible <laughs> that's what i'm here to show you okay so we have a homework tab a classroom tab and a contact me tab okay now where we go from here is actually um creating the pages so that when the student clicks on the homework tab they go to the slide that is for homework okay now here is what um, you need to make sure that you do before you start to create this, okay? You want to create the image again. So that background image, we want to create it again, okay? To cover, okay? But we are going to make um, the one on top transparent, okay? And I know it's like, why? we? What's the point of doing all that? Well, the point is that this image, this uh, square that we laid over the homework tab, it's actually going to be linked to slide two, okay? So we're gonna take this, link it to the next slide, 
okay? And because this next slide doesn't have a title yet, it's just next slide. But the next slide will be the homework tab, okay? So this means that when a student, and I'm actually gonna expand it just a little bit more, okay? When a student clicks anywhere over this square, they are going to immediately go to the homework page, okay? Now, you will do this for all your apps. It's kind of like sealing it, right? To make sure that nothing changes and that wherever they click is going to go exactly to that page, okay? So, you wanna make sure that the filler is transparent, but then also that the border is transparent as well, okay? And when, as you see, when you hover over it, it goes to next slide. So now let's go to the next slide. When they click on this, this is what they see. Well, of course, um, it's blank right now, but I'm gonna just label it as homework. Make it a little bit bigger for us to see. And then move this up to the top. And then on this page, you you know, will list your Monday uh, through Friday schedule. If you have honors or standards or um, advanced placement or whatever the case may be, you can um, fill that in here. You know, just something quick and easy for them to um, be able to refer back to, okay? So this really helps with um, organization and helping our students uh, prioritize and see what they have ahead of them. Um, I always give them like a week at a glance so they'll have the homework for the entire week. Um, and so even if they're absent, right? So if we have students who are absent for whatever reason, oops, they are able to uh, go back on that homework page for that day and figure out what they missed so that when they do return, they aren't behind, okay? So again, I would do this for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and you would finish it off, okay? Now, keep in mind, you can always add in a really cute Bitmoji if you um, have that, just to liven it up um, and see, I can put that here, something super cute creative, you know, something that fits your style, okay? Now, once you have completed putting all of your information in for that page, what you want to do is make sure that you seal this page, but then you also put a home button on the page as well, okay? And this is what this looks like. Okay, to seal the page, we wanna do the same thing we did to seal the tabs. You want to take a shape okay we want to make the filler transparent um, for your pages if you want to make the borders a different color and different like um, designs and things like that to kind of make it a little bit more creative like that you can do that as well um this is truly like you can get as creative or as simplistic as you would like right um and so this again seals the page okay you want to seal the page because they don't you don't want them to click on this and it takes them to the another page you don't want that so now you want to add a home button. I'm actually going to go back to my Google Doc or my Google uh, search and put in a home. Always making sure that it is transparent. And this is going to represent going back to the home page. All right, so I'm probably just going to choose maybe this one. Oh, it doesn't have that. Um, background okay so don't use that one because it won't be transparent but this one is okay not as not as um fun but it gets the job done so save image once again and add it here 
okay? Now, this home page needs to be on every tab so that when students need to return back to the um, beginning page to maybe go to a different tab. So let's say they check the homework page, but now they need to contact me, right? So they will click on this home button, which this home button is now going to be um, covered as well and linked to the home page. Okay, so as you can tell, there isn't a, a way to link it just by itself. And so that's why you have to cover it first. So seal it with a shape. Okay, seal it, make it transparent, transparent, and then link slide one. Okay. Okay. So once you have linked this to slide one, um, and all of your home pages will be linked to slide one because that's your home page that you are working on. So once you have done that, every time they click on the home button, it'll take them back to where they started. That is basically how you would do this. And you will continue this process for however many pages that you would like. Okay. Now, this is the part um, where we take all of our hard work and actually put it into an app format, okay, for them to be able to access on their own devices. What you want to do is go to File, and then go to Publish to the Web, okay? When you publish this to the web, it allows um, students to access the page as if it were an app instead of Google Slides, okay? And I'll actually show you what that looks like in a moment. So, you want to have a link. Um, embedded is if you wanted to put it inside of your website or something like that. But for right now, we're just going to use the link. And we don't want to start any slideshows because we want them to be able to navigate it on their own. So all of this remains unchecked. We're going to publish. And yes, we want to publish. And it's going to give us a link. Okay. So we want to copy this link. Okay. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's only the link and not um, a Google slide. Okay, so this is what they would see if they were, of course, on a computer. Um, but if they were on a mobile device, they would only see the dimensions that we assigned, which was 9 to 14. Okay, and I'm going to show you what this looks like, um, like in real time, if I were a student, right? So this is the home page. I click on the homework page and I can click, in. you see how I'm clicking all the way around this, but nothing is happening? That's good, right? That's how you want it, that's how you freeze it, okay? All of your final pages should be frozen. And I'm using this term loosely, but frozen meaning there should be an overlay over all of your final pages so that when students click on it, it doesn't change pages, okay? Now, if I want to return home to the home page, then I would hit the home button and now I'm here. Okay. If I had a classroom page, it would go here and then a contact page would go there. Okay. Now, of course, we don't want to give them this long drawn out um, URL, right? So there are two ways you can shorten this. You can use bit.ly or you can use tiny URL. All right, once you get into Bitly, it is free to get an account. Um, so if you don't have Bitly and you would like, it's completely free. But there's also a tiny URL, which is also free. Okay, so you would go here to create. We want to enter in that long you heart hill that we don't want to get out, right? And once you do that, you want to create your Bitly. And we can just title it. Your title will be whatever um, you choose. But for this, I'm going to do app tutorial. Just so that when I go back into my account, um, I know what this bit.ly was for, right? But then you can also change the back half. 
okay and this can be your name and content this can be um your school name it is custom to you i'm going to make this classroom app tutorial okay just something that students will remember um so that they can access the app okay and then save and now if i were to copy this link that we just have and paste you see how it has bitly and then backslash classroom app tutorial and it goes back here okay back to the page that we were on homework page nothing that i click on is moving and that's what we like except when i click on the home button and it takes me back home all right welcome welcome back how did it go are you pleased with what you've created i hope so if you want any other tutorials on anything else just feel free to share your suggestions in the comment section and i'll get those videos out for you but this channel is going to be coming with so many teacher tips um teacher lifestyle blogs all of those things because i want this to be a safe community for um, educators. So if that's something that you're interested in or you just kind of want to see what I got going on, <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.